From Russia to Chinese activity, it's a busy time for Alaska's military leaders. Those topics, just a couple of the many, they updated Juno lawmakers on. Carly Shrek recaps that update in this week's Inside the Gates. It's a chance for leaders of the state to catch up with leaders of our armed forces. Annually, they come to meet with the legislators of the House and the Senate to sort of give a briefing about what's going on, the new technologies, the new troops that are coming to uh, Alaska and beyond. At last month's Joint Armed Services Committee meeting, uh, high-ranking military officials briefed lawmakers on the past year's activities. We have seen a, a significant increase in the number of partners that want to work with us and our exercise schedule continues to grow uh, each year. While the briefs did include global security concerns and struggles installations are facing. It's not only Russia, but you're going to start seeing more Chinese activity. In they also highlighted the advances they've made in operational activities. It's a real important time for them to sort of showcase what they do and then work with legislators on what we can do to help support the efforts. Both generals from Alaska's Air Force and Army touting extensive training operations, strengthening the effectiveness of their troops, including the binational exercise between the U.S. and Canada Vigilant Shield. We actually experimented with some new uh, ideas on how we command and control because if we do not learn to command and control forces in the homeland better and quicker than we have in the past, we're not going to be able to stand up to the threats of the future. Also focusing on expanding relationships with global partners, specifically our northern neighbors. While we routinely exercise with our closest partner, Canada, we are also working with countries like Germany, Italy, and Finland to learn more about how they conduct cold weather operations. Opening the lines of communication between the state's top leaders and a chance for legislators to hear how they can help. For Inside the Gates, Carly Shrek, Alaska's News Source.